Hello everybody, back for part three of our Dragon Eye Up Close drawing. And I've got my black and my white pastels, uh, but I've also got some, a couple of warm colors, and I think I'm going to sneak in one cool color. I think I'm going to put in some purple, because um, purple and orange look really good together, and purple and red look really good together. And so, anyway, we're going to we're gonna go with it that way. I've got purple, red, and orange. You can use whatever colors you want. Okay, I've um, got my iris. If you notice in part two, I said pupil, pupil, pupil. No, no, no. That's the pupil. That's the iris. I don't know why I said that so many times. I apologize. Um, got my iris colored <laughs> the way I wanted to and got my sclera parts white got my highlights white probably gonna put some more white on those toward the end of the drawing but that'll be toward the end um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put my uh, orange or orangish gold kind of color around my eye around the actual eyeball part and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color it in a little bit. I'm not going to make the color touch all the way onto my colors that I've used in my eye because we're going to outline that with black. So I don't really need my color to go all the way to the edges of those other colors that I've already used in my eye okay I'm gonna get it real real close there but I'm going to outline all that in black which I'll show you in a second here I'm not gonna color this whole entire um, border in right at the moment I'm just gonna show you that's what I'm doing for the time being and um, then I'm going to show you my black outline here, which always gets my hands super, super dirty because this pastel is not wrapped for some reason. The little wrapper fell off of it. But I'm going to go like this. Let me show you guys the black outline that I'm going to do. And I've got my little scrap paper there guarding my eye that I spent a bunch of time on making the middle color in my iris how I wanted it to look so I don't want to I don't want to mess that up alright and I'm gonna go the rest of the way around here in a little bit but I just want to show you guys that's my black outline that I'm gonna do all the way around okay also going to do a black line on the outside edge of that so this is going to have a black outline this dragon's getting all kinds of eyeliner okay eyeliner on the top and bottom it's going to look really cool next I'm going to pick which colors I want in what order on my scales okay and by by that I mean I've got my other drawings here um, and this drawing could actually go either way it could actually go like that with that pupil coming up from the bottom or go like this pupil coming down from the top but I've got if you if you look you see at least three sometimes four colors in my scales this warm dragon is the best example here is what what I think is the best example um, you can see my black outline all the way around both my not only the eyeball itself but its outside um, border okay and each scale I've outlined in black so that's why it doesn't really matter if you do this on black or white paper. If you do it on black paper, um, I don't know. To me, it just has a better contrast with some of these colors. But 
uh, black or white is is fine whichever whichever one you want to draw on um, these scales have red and then it transforms into a little bit of orange and then it goes up to yellow okay so I went basically directly from the color wheel red orange yellow bam from the bottom to the top of the scale okay so on this one I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go purple because purple the purple's a little bit darker than the red I'm going to go about halfway up each scale with my purple and see once you once you plan this out with your first scale that's what you're going to do with all the rest of your scales for the whole drawing okay so you're going to have um, your main color on the bottom about halfway up and then your next color next one I'm going to use is some red about that far up about halfway up or you know a quarter of your scale I'm going to overlap the purple a little bit though you see that I went right over top of my purple and I took up about half that space I had left then I'm going to go over top of my red a little bit with my orange kind of color gold and go up to the top of the scale like that okay all right so each one I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in the middle that's why I used a white pastel so I can see it really easily because we're gonna cover up all that white pastel with black pastel and make our borders for each one of our scales here I'm gonna do about three scales here and show you what I'm talking about I don't need to go all the way down to this orange part because I'm gonna put a black border in between my orange and my purple right there I'm gonna do these three scales all right so I've got my purple on the bottom and I'm going to put my red over top of my purple a little bit and then go about a quarter another quarter of the way up the scale or take up half of that space that I had remaining after I colored my purple then once I get my red all colored in like that I'm gonna grab my gold go halfway down my red about that far and then rest of it gold 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 and if a little bit of color gets mixed in with your pastel as you're doing this last stage with your scales that's okay because you're gonna kind of blend this all together a little bit anyway all right you can blend with your finger like we did on the iris not pupil but iris or you can take your a trusty trusty little Dunkin Donuts napkin or paper towel or just a regular piece of paper and you can kind of wrap it around the end of your finger and kind of blend like that it doesn't work fantastic all the time just don't press too hard um, you can do it like that you know me I like to get kind of messy with it because I know this can be washed off with soap and water and we're all supposed to be washing our hands anyway right so this will give you good good practice washing your hands so I'm gonna kind of do that a little bit of my too much of my gold smeared off right there so guess what I can go right back in and put a little bit of gold right on top of it I'm not worried about it I'm not bothered by it okay all right so now that I've got some pastel dust here and there all over my drawing I'm gonna get my little scrap paper back and I'm gonna put it right back down here grab my black pastel and go back over covering up all the white that I put down because that was just our sketch that was our outline okay 
if we cover it up, it's no big deal because it was just there to show us where all of our different parts of our drawing were going to be. Where our eye was going to be, where our highlights were going to be, where our scales were going to be, okay? And if some little bit of white sticks up there, that's okay because we're going to cover that up in a minute when we color the rest of our scales up there. Okay? Don't forget to do the eyeliner part. Come around here. Outline each scale. Eyeliner part. Come around here. Outline each scale. Okay? I might just outline that one for fun while I'm right there. Okay? So, our dragon eyes come into life, but to make it look even better, make that a little tiny, tiny bit thicker right there. To make it look even better, I'm going to put kind of a white highlight right here in between my red and gold colors like that. And you might not be able to see it really great on camera. It's showing up a little bit pink right now on camera. Um, and it does kind of blend in pink. A little bit pinky orange color when that white hits the hits the red and the gold there. But um, that's okay. It's okay for it to look like that. I can leave it like that. Or if you really want to make it... Um, show up super bright you can actually use um, a little bit of chalk or sometimes you can use just a teensy bit of acrylic paint on top of that I do not recommend putting acrylic paint which dries as a plastic basically it turns into a plastic when it's dry um, I do not recommend putting acrylic paint over top of oil pastels because like I said before in the last one of my last videos on the dragon eye is that the pastels don't ever really really dry okay um, you can though use a what what's called a fixative um, and I'll write that for you right here fix a tiv and that's basically uh, spray it's almost like kind of like hairspray when you spray it on it seals in your drawing okay so if you use a fixative there's also fixatives that you can brush on but for pastels I definitely recommend a spray fixative um, and if you have a really really good hairspray you can actually use that for a fixative on your pastel drawings don't get the um, fixative, the fixative spray. Don't get the hairspray from like the Dollar Tree, okay? Because it's not, there's not enough uh, of the hairspray actually in the mixture in those cans to seal in your drawing. It's just going to get it really, really wet and then it'll wrinkle up your paper and it won't really do much and you can still rub the pastel and it'll still come off on your finger so uh, if you have a really good hairspray you can test it on a little piece of paper draw something draw a little you know a few little marks in pastel on a piece of paper like a scrap spray it with your really good hairspray let it dry and then if you can still smear it um, it's not a good fixative but if you can't then hey you're you're good to go there okay some fixatives in in the regular spray cans um, you can go get a clear coat from uh, Walmart or Lowe's or a place like that it's four or five six dollars a can Krylon makes stuff like that um, you can use those on paper and pastel sometimes but always do a test paper first okay you don't want to ruin your artwork you'll be crying and you'll have to do it all over again if you don't test it first make sure you test it first okay so um, I'm gonna keep going on this I will post the finished version 
in, in my next video. My next video, uh, we're going to explore some regular pencil drawing stuff, and uh, depends on depends on what all the the district wants us to do this week for lessons and stuff. And I'm just going to be here. I'm going to be available for you guys. Please feel free to to comment in the in the comments below. Um, drop me a comment. Drop me a like. Um, I'm not all about the subscriptions and things like that. If, if you guys don't want to do all that, that's fine. Just But if you do subscribe and, and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I come up with new videos and stuff. So I, I really would love for you guys to draw along with me and and kind of you know stick with me here we're we're going to get through this weird time with this weird virus and everything's kind of crazy but miss fink is still here i'm still here for you guys i will be available to answer any kind of questions you can always um email me you can drop a comment in the in the YouTube videos if you have a question about one of those um, and please if you want me to draw something please let me know tell me hey let's draw this let's draw that whatever you want to draw um, as long as it's appropriate for us to post in a, in a public video then I'm all for it okay Stay safe, stay true to yourself, have fun with your art, have fun with all of your drawings and your paintings, make a mess, clean it up, and have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me again, as usual, I really appreciate you guys. I will see you soon.